So we're back again with another episode of the Messi to Glory series and a lot has happened over the last few days. First of all, I literally had my worst ever for champs weekend with the Messi to Glory team. I could only get 16 wins and the gameplay was simply abysmal. Like I was playing the worst FIFA I've ever played and it was so frustrating. But since we did finish gold 3 which is 16 wins, we do get some player pick packs and of course two mega packs and a 50k pack which we'll be opening this Thursday when rewards come out. A chance for us to maybe get a team of the week red Messi because he might be in the team of the week after scoring four against Eibar. That would be insane. So we'll be getting some good uh, reward packs at least. So that should be fun. But honestly, the major issue I had this weekend was my team. It just wasn't good enough. I used Neymar. He was good for me, but ultimately he wasn't really scoring that often and it was a waste of coins so i sold neymar because he just it just wasn't working for me another thing i did is i went ahead and sold the 95 team of the year nominee version because even that card just wasn't doing anything for me and he was so much more expensive than this regular version of messi and i just couldn't see a difference no difference whatsoever they feel like the same exact cards which makes sense because there isn't much of a stat boost between them so what i did is i sold the 95 messi and bought the 94 Messi and now the plan is we save some coins here and we'll just wait until we can upgrade to the 99 team of the year version of Messi. Until then we're going to use this 94 Messi. I think it's good enough. It gets the job done and it of course complies with the rule that we've got to use Messi in every single team that we build. So we've brought in Messi. I'm hoping he can get the job done. And it's not just Messi that I've changed. I had my worst ever for Champions Weekend. So I completely changed the team around. Rijkaard is back in the side. Emerson, who I bought for like 172k, looks pretty good. And he's amazing in game, guys. I've got to say that I've put him in that right back role because Semedo was feeling a bit weak. And also his price just went up so much that I sold him for like 100k profit, which makes sense. You know, we've got to make profit so that we can afford the team of the year version of Messi. So I sold Semedo, brought in Emerson, who's unreal in the game. And you'll notice some quality icons in here. First one being Thierry Henry. I got him for about 785,000 and this guy is genuinely unreal. Can't wait to use him more. And I thought I wanted like a proper winger, someone fast, someone good on the ball. And Henry just seemed like the perfect bet. And you guys want me to try out different players in this series. And Henry, yo, he is he's more than different. He's special. Can't wait to see how he plays for us. And also... Sergio Aguero, I completed his player of the month SBC, I could do it for pretty cheap for about 500k, I thought you know what, he's Argentine, links with Messi, links with my Bernardo Silva, let's get it done, so I've done him as well, and Bernardo up top, so this is how our team is going to look now, for at least the next week or so, I'm still going to try and maybe make more upgrades, maybe bring in a better icon than Henri, we'll see, I've got about 1.2 million coins left, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. But if you guys are enjoying the Messi to Glory series, this series has kind of now become just me trying to, you know, get good at the game, try and get the best finishes and foot champs as possible. And I kind of like that, you know, it just gives me something to be motivated about and just grind towards that team of the year version of Messi. Hopefully you're enjoying this new way of the Messi to Glory series. And if you are, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here. Let's get this started. Because I had such a bad weekend, the 4-1-2-1-2 wasn't working for me, the 4-2-3-1 wasn't working for me. I've gone to a new formation that a lot of the best players in the world have been using, like Kurt and all that. I went for the 4-4-2 and it is actually amazing. Messi and Aguero will be our strikers. Andre and Bernardo Silva are wingers. Awar and Vieira are going to be like our midfielders. And that's how I'm going to roll now. This formation feels so good in game. Like, honestly, I was scoring so many goals with this. And we're going to try it out in today's episode. We also, I think, need to score like two goals with Martin Odegaard in two separate games. So I'm hoping we can get that done so we can unlock his 87 card. So we might bring him on as a super sub in today's episode. But let's get into our first game of this one. All right, here we go. First game of the episode. You guys have been telling me that there should be more gameplay in this series. And well, in this episode, we're going to be playing two games of Division Rivals. Hoping to try and get better and using this 4-4-2 formation. And it looks like even this guy is playing the 4-4-2 formation, which does make things a bit interesting. Messi sees Aguero. Messi again. I see Bernardo making a lovely run. Now Bernardo sees Awar. Awar, ah, that was close. But again, are you guys seeing the build-up play and all? My wingers are getting involved. Everybody seems to be getting involved and we could actually have a chance here to score. Go on, Bernardo. Make it 1-0. And there you go, it's 1-0. 
That's what the 4-4-2 is all about. I'm so annoyed with myself that I didn't use this formation in for champs. Next week, we're definitely going to use it. It's so effective in game. Bernardo Silva gets us a goal here. Goes Thierry Henry on the attack. See Sergio Aguero bombing forward. This has to be a simple goal. No, I messed up. I went for the near post shot, but I took too much time and he blocked the, the path. I see now. I see Awar outside. This, this looks like a good set piece routine. Ferdinand goes inside to Aguero who's onside. But how is he onside there? I thought he was off. Anyways, that's a big chance wasted then. Although, Aguero gets it back. Now Messi. Can the gold Messi score for us now? No, he can't. But on the rebound maybe? No, that's another simple chance of wasted. Sends Messi through. This is Messi's chance to score. Has to convert here. Still Messi. Goes for goal. But Rio Ferdinand. Did you guys see how quick he was there? Usasi Soko is on the attack here. This, this is looking scary. He's got a chance here. We've got to defend it well. He's, he's dribbling really well here with his Ben Yedda, who's such an annoying player to face. But we've got to find a way to defend Neymar as well. Oh, he's played so well there. Our keeper bailed us out. That was fabulous play from this guy. We got super lucky. I'm having a bit of problem with Leo Messi up top. I feel like he's just too weak to play there. So I'm going to do this. Henri up top. Messi on the left. Or maybe Messi on the right. I think that's better. We'll play Bernardo Silva on the left and Messi on the right. That could work. Messi slides this one through to Sergio. Aguero has to be a goal. A near post. How are near post shots not working? Aguero on the rebound with a lovely finish. Yo, that's why we've got the new player of the month, Sergio Aguero. He can finish those kind of chances with relative ease. He did that brilliantly though. Look at that dice for a finish from Aguero. Oh, that's beautiful. 2 nil up against this guy. I told you, man, there's something about this 4-4-2 formation. That just works. Awar looks for Henri now. Goes for goal. Thierry Henri with a lovely finish. I'll be forcing a rage quit here. Brilliant, I suppose. 3-0 now against this guy. Yo, that, that's a lovely goal as well from Henri. I'm telling you, man, the 4-4-2 formation. I can't wait for foot champs now. I'm going to be using this new formation in foot champs. I think it's going to be amazing. We didn't even get a chance to play Odegaard in this game. That's a bit annoying. Oh, would you look at this? EA released a special foot shapeshifters Acuna card. That's a central midfielder. He links with both Aguero and Leo Messi. So this might be a card that we should unlock. And it shouldn't be that difficult. We've completed the midfield Maverick challenge. And I for assist. So we only need to complete three more challenges. That should be done soon. So I guess we're going to work towards this Acuna as well. Can't wait to add him into our bench maybe or even in the first team. Could be a good player to have. Opening this small Electrum players pack that I just got from that Acuna challenge. Let's see what we get in this one. Can it be a walkout? Well, it's not going to be anything. Um, pack luck still a bit tragic today. So I guess let's just continue testing out this new team and new formation. Should be exciting. We're going to stick with the 4-4-2 as well for this game. But of course, with Henri and Aguero as our strikers... And Bernardo on the left and Messi on the right. Let's hope it works. So this is what we're up against in game number two. He's got an okay -ish squad. I think we can dominate him. Funny how the last two teams that have played both played a 4-4-2 formation. Is this something of a new trend now, I guess? Which is interesting, but we should be able to beat this guy. Not good, guys. We might actually concede here. Courtois well with another big save. But I hand it to him, man. In this episode, he's made some cracking saves. And foot jumps, though, he didn't. So... Wonder what's up with that. Henri keeps it inside. Brilliant. Now Sergio Aguero has to be a goal. How am I missing these chances, man? That was a simple chance for Sergio. Oh, here's Aguero. I think I've broken through here. Sergio Aguero goes for goal. How am I not scoring these chances? Come on, man. If I miss chances like this, we're not going to be getting a high finish in for champs. Yo, it feels like my players have just lost control. I'm struggling now. We're going to concede. Oh my God. Rio Ferdinand saved us and it came off the post. What's going on? How have we not conceded there? I'm considering myself super lucky here. Look at how deep this guy is playing. I hate when FIFA players just play this way. I'm hoping we can score against him. No, Henri. You've got to be taking that chance. Both of us have like missed so many chances in this game, man. It's actually crazy. This could be it. This could be it. Sergio Aguero, first time shot. Why take it with your left foot, man? Just shoot with your right foot. That would have 100% been a goal if it was Aguero's right. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got the chance to score. He is going to score. No, he missed. Wow, Lautaro Martinez missed a sitter there. And by the way, I thought this guy's team was pretty easy to beat, but he brought on Neymar and all. So it is, it is still a very difficult team to, uh, to face. No, 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 no. What's going on here? This is so frustrating. Thank God for Rijkaard there. Put in such a good challenge. We would have conceded such a dodgy goal there. I'm glad that didn't happen. 
And this game has been so dense. Oh, Lautaro has done me there. Uh, Rio Ferdinand saving me yet again. This game has been so stressful, man. Don't know if it's division rivals or foot champs because this guy is playing for his life. Okay, what just happened? This guy just quit the game at nil-nil. I was just about to score and he quit the game. Oh, chat. This game. Honestly. I hate FIFA 20. I genuinely hate FIFA 20 because of all these problems. Like, oh, man. So freaking annoying. Why would you quit the bloody game, man? You moron. You've just wasted my time and yours. Well, that was a very good game of FIFA up until the guy just quit the game, which was so annoying. But I guess with that... We're going to be wrapping up today's episode. I, I'm not sure if it's going to be a short one or a long one, but today's episode was all about showing you guys my new team, my new formation, the 442, showing off my new Aguero and Henri. Next episode, I guess we're going to have for champions and rewards and all that. And I'm probably looking to improve on Thierry Henri, bringing someone better in. That's what I'm thinking. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And also, yeah, I've, I've changed the kit numbers finally. Messi's wearing number 10 and all that. So that's fine now. So don't, don't type that in the comments. Anyways, with that, we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys did, a like would be awesome. Subscribe if you're new around here. And well, I'll catch you guys next time.